Oh, yeah. with apologies to the people with the affliction, he said, all right, as we're going by the pond here recently, oh, let me give you my call. This is one of my best bird calls. Wait till you hear this. This is the mute swan. <laughs> you, you, you can't hear it because the, the pitch is above the range of human hearing, the high pitch. That'll be number 14 for me for the day. That's fantastic. Uh, I think we could count on about uh, you know, woods like this somewhere around 35, 40 species. So I'm way short of the goal. Many uh, species in Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would have a goal. You know, I don't know what kind of an was that? If you go to the top of the highest peaks in uh, Massachusetts, up there you'll find the parasitic species that was described by the leptothorax wilson. It's found only in the depths of the uh, small ant right near the top. Okay, what is the area that Probably very places. Yeah. Dr. Wilson, what kind of ant was that? Huh? What kind of ant was that you just found? Oh, that was formic deal gagatee. It's in the same group as the um, uh, same genus formica. There's a lot of these very common black ants, red and black ants. Yeah. But this is a woodland species, a small species. Well, this is very abundant. Huh? It's everywhere. They're almost certainly the same here. Probably another one right here. Yeah, we're probably near a nest. I doubt if they fall in very far. Yeah, that's the very one. Right. Yeah, we got it. You are. You're, you're, you're about to be a very as a uh, myrmecologist third grade. <laughs> There's another considerable promise. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another uh, genus. Coming up. Coming up. There's a small one right here. I don't know yeah. what this is. Uh, that is... But coming up over here is a, a member of another genus. Sometimes ants are attracted to disturbances. Right? Like, you know, 